Part 1. ICND 1-1. Your manager asks you which service is responsible for translating the source IP address of a packet to the IP address of the public interface on the router. A. DHCP. B. NAT. C. DNS. D. HTTP. Answer. NAT. NAT is responsible for translating the source IP address of a packet to use the IP of the public interface on the NAT device. 2. You are troubleshooting a communication problem. You seem to be able to communicate with Glenn's website by IP address, but not by the fully qualified domain name www.glennclark.com. What is most likely the problem? A. DHCP. B. NAT. C. DNS. D. HTTP. Answer. DNS. If you can communicate with a system by the IP address but not the FQDN, it's a classic indication that the name is not able to resolve to an IP address. This is a sign that there is a problem with the DNS. 3. Which network service can be configured on your router that is responsible for assigning IP addresses to systems on the network? A. DHCP. B. NAT. C. DNS. D. HTTP. Answer. DHCP. The DHCP service is responsible for assigning IP addresses automatically to systems on the network. 4. What service on the network is responsible for converting the FQDN to an IP address? A. Authentication Server B. DNS Server C. DHCP Server D. NAT Answer. DNS Server The DNS is responsible for converting the friendly name, such as www.glenclark.com to an IP address. 5. What service on the network is responsible for verifying username and passwords when the user attempts to log on? A. Authentication Server B. DNS Server C. DHCP Server D. NAT Answer. Authentication Server an authentication server is responsible for verifying the username and passwords of clients wishing to access the network. 6. You are monitoring network traffic and you notice a number of DHCP discover messages on the network. Which of the following is the destination address of the DHCP discover message? A. 0F1B3C2F3C2A. B. F F F F F F F F F F F F C 192.168.4.5 D 192.168.0.0 Answer F F F F F F F F F F F F the DHCP Discover message is a broadcast message which is used to locate the DHCP server on the network. FFFFFFFFFFFFFF is the layer 2 representation of a broadcast address. 7. When a client system boots up and requests an IP address, it first must send out which message? A. DHCP request. B. DHCP Discover C. DHCP Response D. DHCP ACK Answer. DHCP Discover The DHCP Discover message is the first message sent out by a DHCP client to locate a DHCP server on the network. The DHCP Discover message is a broadcast message which has a destination MAC address of FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
Answer. Repeater. A repeater is a layer 1 device that is responsible for regenerating the signal. 9. Which device filters traffic by looking at the destination address of the frame and then forwards the frame to the port that the destination system resides on? A. Hub. B. Router. C. Repeater. D. Switch. Answer. Switch. A switch is a layer 2 device that filters traffic based off the destination MAC address of the frame. 10. Which of the following is a layer 3 device? A. Bridge. B. Router. C. Repeater. D. Switch. E. Hub. Answer. Router. A router is an example of a layer 3 device and is responsible for sending or receiving information to and from the network. 11. A device that can send and receive information, but not at the same time, is said to be blank. A. Simplex. B. Full duplex. C. Multicast. D. Half duplex. Answer. Half duplex. When a device can send and receive information, but not at the same time, it is known as half-duplex communication. Full-duplex is when the device can send and receive at the same time. 12. A message that is sent out on the network and is destined for all systems is known as a blank message. A. Unicast. B. Multicast. C. Full-duplex. D. Broadcast. Answer. Broadcast. A broadcast message is a message sent to all systems on the network. A broadcast message has a destination MAC address of FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF. 13. A message that is sent out on the network and is destined for a group of systems is known as a blank message. A. Unicast. B. Multicast. C. Full duplex. D. Broadcast. Answer. Multicast. Multicast traffic is traffic that is destined for more than one system, but not all systems. 14. A group of systems that can receive one another's broadcast messages is known as A. Blank. A. Collision domain. B. Active directory domain. C. Fully qualified domain name. D. Broadcast domain. Answer. Broadcast domain. A broadcast domain is a group of systems that can receive one another's broadcast message. You can break your network into multiple broadcast domains by using routers or VLANs. 15. You are monitoring network traffic and notice that there is a large number of broadcast messages sent across the wire. You would like to separate your network into multiple broadcast domains. How can you do this? Select 2. Dot. A. Switch. B. VLANs. C. Router. D. Bridge. Answer. VLANs. And router. You can use VLANs or a router to break the network into multiple broadcast domains. 16. A group of systems that can have their data collide with one another is known as A. Blank. A. Broadcast domain. B. VLAN. C. Collision domain. D. Multicast. Answer. Collision domain. A collision domain is an area of the network where one system can collide with another system. Each port on a network switch or bridge creates a separate. 18. Sue is having trouble understanding some network concepts and asks you to help identify address types. Which of the following is considered a Layer 2 address? A. 192.168.2.200 B. www.glenclark.com C. Computer1 D. O O AB O F minus two B minus three C minus four E. Answer.
zero zero a b zero f two b three c four e. A layer two address is the physical address, also known as the MAC address of the system. Nineteen. You are troubleshooting communication to a network by looking at the link light on the switch. What layer of the OSI model are you troubleshooting when looking at a link light? A. Application. B. Physical. C. Network. D. Data link. Answer. Physical. The physical layer of the OSI model deals with physical aspects of the network, such as the cables and connectors. A displayed link light simply means a connection exists. 20. What layer of the OSI model is responsible for breaking the data into smaller segments? A. Data link. B. Physical. C. Network. D. Transport. Answer. Transport. The transport layer is responsible for breaking the data into smaller chunks called segments.